Welcome back to Carson Tate's video log. I'm here in Provincetown with D. Jackson Lee. Jackson, I call her, right? That's me. You go by whatever people call you. Whatever. <laughs> well, I'm going to start calling you Dragon Slayer. No, not Dragon Slayer. Dragon Horse Warrior. Warrior. Um, do you want to tell people why I'm going to call you that? Um, yes, because um, I'm departing a little bit from my usual um, southern... Uh, hot lesbian romance. I still am sticking to an equestrian setting, but I'm writing a fantasy. It'll be the first of a series called The Dragon Horse War. And um, there are dragon horses, and uh, it's set in the future um, when, uh, after the great religion wars have killed out all of the um, religions, and um, and there's like world peace for a hundred years and all of a sudden they have a lot of catastrophic weather and it makes people restless and people start um, going back to some of the old religion roots and and instead of appreciating diversity trying to group themselves together again uh, in like groups and um, it's uh, it's about um, reincarnation it's about um, it's about the it's really the theme of the series is really um, how do you justify making war to maintain peace? And um, I'm not going to say that I, I have no answers to that, <laughs> but it's something to think about. And my main characters, especially in the first book, have to address that. One one of the main characters is a priestess of the, the collective, which is a, a, the, the current world not really a religion, but thought, a belief, thoughts uh, um, that respects diversity. And the other one is um, a dragon horse warrior. It's been sort of like a sleeper sale that is gets called up to take care of this restlessness that's going on. So, so one is a warrior and one is a priestess of peace, and they have to find some common ground. Oh, I bet. I mean. Just balance in a microcosm and a background. Yeah. That's very cool. So it's a very it's a big challenge for me because I've never written fantasy before, but um, I grew up reading it and um, I'm um, really excited about doing it. I have no doubt you're a consummate storyteller. Well, I mean, thank you. Truly, like I could sit and listen to you talk forever. <laughs> well, I'm not in this book. I'm not in this series. I'm not going to be able to fall back on my usual southern humor um, <laughs> because it's not set in the south. In fact, a good bit of it is set in Honduras. Um, where my niece lives, and um, so so it'll be a little it'll be a stretch for oh, me. I have but, no doubt. But in between the, the it's going to be a series of either three to five books, and in between I'll still write my traditional romances, um, to, just because I love them. Well, let's talk about one of your traditional romances. Hold me forever. Hold me forever is the third in my, what I call my Southern Secret series. The, um, they're all independent romances with no overlapping characters, but they all have a common theme of some kind of secret. Not that the secret is a mystery that you have to find out in the book, but the secret is something that's kept by one of the characters that impacts on all the other characters around there. It's how they deal with the secret keeping emotionally. Well, I didn't think you could top the others two in the themed series, and um, this one was phenomenal. I just, I mean, like, I literally laughed and cried. <laughs> There's just so many poignant moments in this book. It was, um, I had a lot of fun doing it um, because it's very, very Southern, but also it has a serious side because it addresses one of the characters. Um, fathers has Alzheimer's and she has to deal with that and my dad has Alzheimer's and so I drew a lot on what my family has been through with that so um, it's it's a lot it's a lot of laughter and, and it's got some serious stuff in there too when, and horses and horses when can we expect the first dragon book dragon um, horses book Probably the end of 2014. This is the first one. That's not that far away. It, um, no, it's it, this is the first one, and I've got to lay all the groundwork of this world, so it's taking a little bit longer to write. So I'm looking towards the end of uh, 2014. So read Hold Me Forever Now, and just hold on for a little bit longer, and we'll have a dragon horse tail. I'm so excited. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm just envious of your new adventure. It's, uh, it's an adventure.
here. Yeah, definitely. Well, um, do you want to say butter my biscuits or something fun like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're not going to Butter that. my butt and call me a biscuit. Excellent. <laughs> D. Jackson Lee here in Provincetown. Go buy our books at boldstrokesbooks.com.